welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will be demonstrating how to set up a paint effect test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instruments. Paint effect tests are used to measure the breakdown and recovery of the viscoelastic properties of a filled material as a function of amplitude. A sinusoidal deformation is applied to the sample at a constant temperature and fixed frequency. The first step includes an oscillation step with increasing deformation, followed by a second oscillation step with decreasing deformation. This test is typically used to measure deformation-induced changes in the sample microstructure, specifically due to the breakdown and recovery of weak bonds due to filler effects in the cross-linked rubber network. Open the test parameter software and log in with your username and password. All rubber test plans are organized by compound names and all of the testing information is saved to a database. Each compound can have one test plan per instrument. You will want to first create the new compound by selecting Compound from the Data drop-down menu or selecting the New Compound icon. In the pop-up menu, select New and enter the name of the compound and any additional information desired. Select OK when finished and return to the home screen of the test parameter software. In order to create a new test plan, select New from the File drop-down menu or select the New Document icon. In the pop-up window, select SIS V50 for creating any RPA test plan. You will then need to select the desired compound and select OK. In the test plan setup window, enter the desired closing pressure. Next, the desired test method will need to be created. Choose Amplitude from the drop-down menu under Method. All required fields will highlight in red. Double-click to the left of the entry on the step number to open the Strain Program window. The Strain Program window is used to generate the deformation profile for the amplitude sweep step. Enter the desired amplitudes into the table by clicking on the box and typing in the numbers. The table can be easily navigated by using the arrow keys. For this first step, the test will usually begin with a small strain and gradually increase to a large strain, for example from 0.05 to 5 degrees. Type in the fixed frequency in the Frequency Entry field. Pain effect tests often use a frequency of 1.667 Hz, as this equals 100 cycles per minute. Each strain program can be saved for future use by clicking on Save As, while saved programs can be easily recalled by choosing Load Program. Once completely finished, click on OK. Appropriate fields will be automatically populated, while the remaining required fields will still highlight in red. Enter the appropriate fields into the remaining highlighted fields. Repeat the process for the second step line by choosing Amplitude from the drop-down menu under Method. Access the Strain Program window by double-clicking to the left of the entry and entering the desired strains in the table. For the second step, the test will begin with a large strain and gradually decrease to a small strain for example, from 5 degrees to 0.05 degrees. This test method can be combined with other steps, such as frequency sweeps and isothermal cures, which can be used to characterize the sample further. Once all parameters have been entered, click on OK, and the test plan will be saved upon exiting. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up a pain effect test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instrument. For more information on our rubber instruments, please visit our website or contact your local technical representative. Stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.